something more? I've always been, um, I don't want to bump or do a rough ride, but I just, I'm finding myself, maybe there's a bit more hesitance to do with money, uh, like a, an allowance of it flowing, like that it's okay that it goes. It's comes true and goes. for everyone. Just pick up more of the other sticks. Just don't pick up the money stick when you know that that's how you feel. So here's something that you could do. This is a new idea and it will work very well for you. Do any of you have some subjects that are sort of stuck in your vibrational craw more than others? And we've been talking about the stick pile for a long time. You're aware of it, that every subject is two subjects and on one end of it is something wanted and on the other end is the absence of something wanted. And so you think that you've activated the abundance stick when really what you've activated is your worry about not having enough money for something. And so you think you're doing something helpful, but you can tell eventually by the way it feels that it wasn't that helpful because you just made yourself worry more by activating it. You following us? So now let's do something different with these sticks. Let's pick up the money stick and on this end of the stick, let's call this the manifestation. Let's call this vibrations turning to thoughts and thoughts turning to things. And those things are money. And that's on that end of the stick. So carve on that end of the stick, use your Esther remembers it from grade school. Use your hot little tool that carves into wood. What do you call it? A wood burner. Don't touch it to your tongue. <laughs> Just carve on the end of the stick. So on that end of the stick, you would write the word money. And on the other end of the stick, you're going to carve happy, freedom, fun, ease, flow. You're going to find the emotional equivalent that you can accomplish by parking your truck and sitting on a fence and just looking out. That was abundance of enormous proportion. And it was right at your fingertips and you didn't have to do anything different. And so it turns out that everything that you want, everything that anybody ever wants is because they think they'll feel better in the having of it. So if you go to the feeling of, I want money because I want to feel free and I want more choices and I want to have more fun and I want to feel expansive and I want to know the universe is cooperating with me. I want to feel my own invincibility and I want to point it in directions that are helpful. And in other words, you feel all of those things and you can feel them now. You can't get the money this red hot minute, but you can get that feeling this red hot minute. So when you pick up the stick, go to the emotional good feeling end of it that you know you can find. And if you're not anywhere in the vicinity, don't pick up the stick. Don't pick up a stick and go to the end of it that makes you feel lack. And so your inner being knows that. Did we tell you lately? that your inner being knows where you are in terms of your manifestation or your state of mind. Your inner being always knows where you are in relationship to everything that you want. And your inner being knows the perfect things to say to you. And your inner being never says, I'll wait till she's in a better mood. Your inner being just always goes for it. Your inner being never stops giving you the revelation but you got to do something about the realization of it, which means you could serve yourself very well by just deciding, I'm just going to be a happy girl today. I'm just going to feel as good as I can feel. I'm not going to solve any problems today. I'm not going to slay any dragons today. Jerry used to say to Esther occasionally, every day, <laughs> sometimes more than once a day, as they were out in the world, and Esther could see a way that someone could improve their experience if they just pay attention. And so she would sometimes just make a suggestion. And as they would walk away, Jerry would say, you're not going to teach them. In other words, give it a rest. Let them figure it out. Don't fix all the problems or slay all the dragons or, or, or you're making the world a better place. You can't help it, but you got to be in connection with the energy that feeds the world before you can offer anything anyway. And so 
We're not wanting to make you feel responsible to find alignment. We want you to find alignment because it's delicious to find alignment. And then we're just telling you all the good things that will come as a result of you finding alignment. But then you, because you're human, we love you so much. Do we tell you, you in your human form, you say, oh, I get it. I'll find alignment and then I can fix things. And we said, that isn't what we said. You find alignment and things will get better. Yeah, that's what I heard you say, Abraham. If I take the responsibility upon myself and I tune into this powerful, powerful, powerful energy, then I can tune in and I can point it at things. I can heal the sick and I can feed the hungry. And we say, you're missing the point again. Because the moment you begin pointing it at something that is a problem, you become a part of the problem, not a part of the solution. That's why you must separate in your own mind the question from the answer, the problem from the solution. That's why step one and step three are different steps with a whole lot of cooperation from the universe in between them. Helpful? Beautiful. Enough? That's enough. Really good. Really good. Thank you.